guys if you have just installed linux mint or if you've been using it for a while and then you get a message saying that there are updates available and you decide that you want to update your system so you decide to install some updates and then you click install updates in the update manager you might be getting this message saying that these updates will trigger additional changes so you can either cancel it or click ok after you click OK, it will ask you for your root password. This is to protect you from unauthorized changes to your system. So after you enter the correct password, you might run into a window saying that the error occurred. It gives you some instructions saying that the depackaging was interrupted and you must run it manually. If you're not very familiar how to do that, I will show you how to do that in this video. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more helpful, interesting Linux videos. I got a lot of Linux videos on my channel, so check it out. I appreciate it very much. So without further ado, let's get started. So it is actually pretty easy to fix. And first of all, I'm going to show you how you can install updates without actually going through an update manager. So you can follow through the first two steps on a regular basis, even everything is working, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So let's go ahead and open the terminal. And then in the first line, just got to type in sudo app update. And then it's going to ask you for the password. Just got to type in your password and all the commands that you got to be typing in. So just look on the screen, whatever I'm typing, just type exactly the same. Don't add anything. Don't remove anything. Just type exactly the same. Then it should work. No problem. After the first command is done, the second command we got to type sudo app upgrade. And as you can see, it says D package was interrupted. So you get an exactly the same message as the first warning. So it does indeed confirm that the packaging process was interrupted. So we got to do it manually. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And it even tells you which command you get to type in next in the terminal. So we need to type is sudo D package configure a. So I'm going to be typing sudo dpkg configure a. And then click enter. It's going to automatically package all the archives. And then if you have secure boot enabled, it's going to ask you for the secure boot password. And you might have set it up when you installed Linux Mint and you're going to need secure boot password for installation of any third party drivers. And if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you will need a third party driver, which will require a secure boot password. So I'm just going to type in my secure boot password, then click OK. Then you got to type the secure boot password again. There we go. After it's done thinking and you're going to see another line in the terminal, you can go ahead and close this terminal because we're all done here. And then go again to the update manager and click install updates. You're going to get the same message. Click OK. Then enter your password to authenticate installation. And there we go. It's going to start automatically downloading the necessary files. And after the download, it's going to start installing them. This is how it's done. It's very simple. It's only a few commands. You get to run through the terminal and it's all done. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, like I said, you're going to need to set up a secure boot password. And it even might ask you to do it again. Like you see here, it says your system has UEFI secure boot enabled. So if your system has that, it's going to ask you to configure secure boot. So in this case, I'm just going to put in a password and then just going to type it again and then click next. And it will install all the updates. No problem. There we go. It's all done. It might require a reboot after installing new drivers in the updates. So just go ahead and reboot your system. There you have it, guys. This is it. This is how it's done. It's very simple. I hope you guys find this helpful and support this video with a like. If you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe. And if you will have any questions, comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can. This is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.